ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more The Evil Within. Let's continue. That was bad. Here we are, chapter 11. My god, this still looks really bloody good, man. Alright, well, let's get out of this water. That was a really weird swimming transition, and I'm glad our light still seems to work underwater. That's always good. I actually remember really enjoying this chapter. Uh, I shouldn't say that, because generally, if I say things like that, we have a bad time. But, let's have a look. Now, I know on that uh, merry-go-round there is a item. A key, if memory serves me correctly. Man, look at this. Crimson like City. Probably, because that's where all the magic is happening, Sebastian. God, that does look kind of cool, to be fair. Ooh. Alright. Let's get going. Plenty to do. Plenty of people to kill. Um, ah. Yeah, I remember this now, but how do we get the key off it? Uh, yeah, maybe? Where is it? I'm sure there's a key on here. Ah, there it is. Right. Um, ah, that'll work. Nope, we don't really want to use that. Come on. Ah, you son of a... Have we got to wait for that thing to come all the way around now? We all know the answer to that, don't we? There we go. Okay. So, what have we got going on here? Beautiful cityscape. Absolutely destroyed. Not fantastic. Probably getting uh, old Sebastian here. Um, you know, rustling up some questions inside his head. But I think he's starting to understand now that this definitely isn't reality. Definitely something a little bit funky going on. We get on there. Actually, can't remember. <laughs> right, let's have a little look around. Black hair curse. <gasps> the ring. Oh, we don't talk about the ring. Well, that's probably bad. I see. We're probably going to be going that way. So, is there any goodies down here? With the white fog. Or white fog. The fog started rolling in, and it was like, hmm, <laughs> John's Coffee Chronicle. Uh, 
did watch a film in uh, The Mist. Yeah, that was... Oh, we can't go that way. The Mist, that was a good film. <laughs> Don't often watch TV and films and things. Doesn't hold my attention. But yeah, The Mist, that was a good one. Well, nothing fun's happening down there. And they're really pushing these movies. Yeah, the, even still, this is, like, really impressive. Seeing all the, like, terrain and everything change in front of you. This is really neat. Whoa. I mean, they spent some money on this. Whoa. It kind of fell in slow motion, but, you know. Nothing's perfect, is it? Alright, let's get inside. I get the feeling there's like a map fragment here somewhere. Not 100% sure where. Uh, let's keep exploring. I could be wrong, but I just vividly remember one around here somewhere. Do you remember Sab? Oh, that's the gun, isn't it? I think that's like the Magnum, if memory serves me correctly. Oh, we can hear some deadites. Yep, we've got some deadites. Now let's go through here. We've got some gel. We'll take some gel. Sure. Oh, there's the map fragment. I do remember that. Now this. Stranger. Now that's a weapon. Yeah. Very, very powerful weapon. This custom-made high-caliber revolver fires powerful large-bore cartridges. It appears to have seen a lot of use. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much we can actually hold for that gun. Six. Makes sense. Alright. Ooh. And my cat is running around like a loony bin. Right, so we got ourselves a juicy, juicy weapon that we're going to be using very sparingly. Uh, let's keep sneaking. I'd like to just go in, guns blazing, but probably won't end too well. He's disappeared around the bloody corner now. Um, you know what? Hmm. He's going to come back around the corner, isn't he? And potentially this guy's an easy stealth kill. But, oh, hello. Well, he's probably dead now. Just, just saying. Almost definitely dead. I guess he's not our problem after all. Well, that's a bit of luck, wasn't it, Sab? Good thing this thing didn't land on our brain. You know. Okay. Almost got our toes trapped. Say, Sab, uh, are you wearing steel toe caps? I'm going to say you probably aren't. But that's okay. As long as we don't get squished. Like a bug. We should be fine. Now this is a little bit iffy. One bit of movement and it's all over, man. Now 
another health kit. Don't mind if I do. These we can break. Yeah. These boxes are different colours. I wonder if they got Doom or Quake on one of these computers. Probably. Every computer had Doom on it, didn't it? So we've got some dude around the corner. Might be able to sneak up and knife him. But that's okay. Let's grab you. Can't grab any more matches, unfortunately. Oh, hello. Uh, dude. Oh, these guys, I think, if I remember correctly, you can't you, like... No. Okay. Yes. Kind of. You can shoot them in the back. And they explode. Spectacularly, I might say. Uh, now we're going to have to wait to have some of our health regen. They have a really large explosive um, range on them. Um... My god, what the hell are the cats doing over there? What are you do I've never heard so much noise from such a little thing. What are you doing over there? Bloody beast. Right. Yeah, they're they're gonna be pretty rough. Right. Oh, we've only got one syringe as well. It's okay. We do have our health packs, but we're probably not gonna worry about them too much. Alright, careful now. Oh! Oh, I don't. Yeah, oh, wait, there's like, kind of like a big fight around here, if memory serves. Can't slap him around a bit, unfortunately. Um, up on the van. Yeah, this is quite a big little fight, I think. I thought we had to climb up on the van. Am I wrong? Well, oh. oh. Yeah, I guess I am. Right, let's see if we can't take some of these guys out. Ooh, sneaky sneak stealth like. Got him. Oh. Oh, that was satisfying. Okay. Now we've got a gentleman over here. We can get to him as well. As much as I would like to run around and shoot all these guys in the face. Don't really have the ammo for that. Right, now, are we going to be able to... Oh, damn it. Damn it. No, that's okay. I think. Nope, nope, I think he's coming for us. I think the cat is most certainly out of the bag. I don't think the cat's actually ever been in the bag, to be honest. Hey, we might have got away with that, actually. I think we have. Kind of want to break his neck. PC plod is just marching around over there. Where's he going? Now, is he covered? Hmm. Hmm, okay. He's moving quite far over. It's possible we can just sneak up and take that guy out in a minute. Yeah, he's coming back. But they're out of sync now, which is problematic. Oh, that's a pain. You know what? Fuck this. Come on, then. Not that close. Jeez. That wasn't exactly what I had in mind, sir. That was more like what I had in mind. Always got to get a little bit touchy, haven't they? Touchy-feely. 
Now let's go and next snapping. Because if we can, we will. Alright there, fella. You just having a snack? That's a Really? Really? Oh, you fucking penis. Well, I guess you just have super hearing, don't you? Bastard. Magical hearing. Right, let's grab some health. What else we got in here? Any shotgun shells? No, but we do have some handgun ammo. And handgun ammo is sl Ooh, it's getting foggy. Sort of. Handgun ammo is slightly better than a kick in the dick. Hmm. Definitely have them made. So we can potentially go up and over there. Or. Ooh. Very nice. Why do I get the feeling that we can actually go back here? We can't. It's actually locked. Oh, that's a shame. Can we really not? Oh, okay. Whatever. I thought we could. It's fine. We don't need to get up and over there, do we? Right, Sab, let's get your health back, mate, because you're not really in a fantastic way. And we don't have any health. Well, we do, but we don't, don't really want to use those big healing health kits. We're going to hold on to them. Unless we really need them. I'm pretty sure they, like, kind of fuck you up really badly if you use them. They, like, really slow slab down and make him, like, all delirious and stuff. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope. Oh. Aha! I thought I remembered we got into that door. Somehow. Alright, fella. Come on. There you go. Let's get two of you down. Three of you down. That'll do. Possibly a bit of a waste of some matches there, but whatever. Smoke them if you got them. Got one shell left. Which, you know, is not great. Switch back over to the hand cannon. Ooh, matches. God damn it. This guy just... Must have heard me rolling up on his ass. More matches. Beautiful. More bullets. He's a generous chap. Are you gonna wake up? Eh, I don't think so. Yeah, that's right. Old-fashioned keys. Excellent. And bullets. Hello. Oh. You're not playing around, are you? You're not playing around at all. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Didn't, uh, didn't see all that. Come on. God damn it. Is this it? Yep. This is possibly it. This is all over. You're gone. You're gone. Oh, you bastard. That bullet must have just pushed us a little bit out of cover. Son of a bitch. If you run out of stamina, press... Really? Really? Right. Once more with feeling, eh? Now, did that bit way better. We basically stealth killed everybody. Okay. 
Okay, so that still hasn't triggered what we need. Yep, there we go. That's the one. Hey, I killed you. I literally blew your pretty little head off. Right, get him, get him, get him. There we go. That worked out reasonably well. Now, let's get the old uh, shotgun out. Oh, we got the... Hmm. This is going to be a little bit delicate. Actually, we could use a syringe. There we go. Man, that, that does heal such a piddly little amount of health. It's kind of crazy. Um, all right. Shotgun time. There's no dude here because I killed him. Have you. Definitely going to have you. Right. Now we've got Commando Jackass. Right, I'm wondering if he doesn't appear to be able to get us, luckily. No, he can. He can really get us. Wow, he just he just just keeps shooting, doesn't he? Come on, burn him. There we go. Hi guys. Right. That was not as fantastic as it could have been. Neither was that. To be honest. Definitely could have been better. So could that. We're not doing very well here when it comes to burning enemies. But we are doing a fantastic job at burning our health. Which I'm not sure is a... Uh, a result that any of us is proud about. Okay, let's get some health going. Is there more? There bloody is more. I'm not sure if there's actually a limit to these guys. Well, there must be, I guess. Well, that didn't do much of anything, did it? Let's just quickly move past those ones. Guys, I mean seriously. See how well that grenade actually uh, works for us. Not very well, apparently. Yeah, these, these grenades really are quite poor. But then, most of the weapons in this game seem to be somewhat poor at the desired. Oh, nice. Task of killing your foe. Um. Okay. All right. Whatever. Let's just uh, move on. Nothing to see. We can go down. But what's up? Ooh, bullets. They're just bullets? Yeah, well, you know. I thought he had despawned. He hasn't. He's just kind of there. I do remember, actually, we get an unlimited machine gun. Uh, is it unlimited? Can't remember, actually. It's uh, some sort of machine gun. Right. Doesn't look like we can get... Ah. That looks slightly more promising. Evening. Hmm. Not a hundred percent sure if there's like a key or something around here. 
My key senses are tingling. But I could be wrong. What do you reckon, Sab? Is there a key around here? You should have a better memory of this than me, Sab. I mean, you're the one that's actually here. Okay. I do love this level, actually. This is probably my favourite level in the game. I just like the... Oh, jeez. Didn't remember that. Definitely didn't remember that. There's a lot of bodies here. It's kind of making me question things. Um... I'm sure there's a fucking key here somewhere. Ah! There we go. Uh, can't exactly remember how we're gonna get the key. Come on, Sab. Really? Instead of just, you know, phasing through this scenery, can we get up? Right. reload first. Might help. Need bullets in the gun. Come on, Sebastian. You are a dick, honestly. How do we... Are you freaking serious? Well, I guess we're not getting that key. Son of a... That is bullshit. Can we really just not pick that key up? I guess that makes sense. Wow, it doesn't make sense, really. Kind of annoying, but there we go. Yeah, I remember this. Mr. Nibbles. So, if I remember correctly, we can actually shoot these bodies down to distract it. I think. Pretty sure that's how it works. Whilst we're going to merrily swim. As fast as our little legs will take us. Hmm. Oh, fantastic. Well, it must swim faster. Must swim faster. Come on, Sebastian. Come on, lad. I would be moving a little bit fucking faster than that, dude. Just saying. Jesus Christ. Ah, wait, isn't there a statue there somewhere? Hmm. Can't remember, but let's get that done and then swim like a mofo as quick as we can. Come on, Sebastian. No time like the present. Yeah, it's very slowly weighed out of that water. God, it's, it really is the animations that lets this game down, I, in my opinion. Just how incredibly slow everything is. Anyway. Sure as hell don't want to go back in the water anytime soon. Nah, I think we're done with the water for now. Hang on, isn't there a... I think there's a key around here somewhere as well memory serves. I can't believe we couldn't pick that bloody key up. I guess what you've got to do is push it towards the land. But that's probably as much fun as trying to piss in your own eyes. Nothing. No. Nothing. I'm pretty sure we're coming up to a save point though. I think. Why do I get the feeling that there is... 
Um, save point around here somewhere. Oh, we got some matches. Definitely need some matches. Oh, bolts. Yes, lovely. Well, that's bad. Oh, shit. Isn't there a Ruvik? Yeah, Ruvik's around here, isn't he? I think we've just got to avoid him for a while. If memory serves. What have we got there? Got some shells. Sorry. Shell. Singular. There's a lot of enemies around here. Yep. Um. Right. This is gonna be a pain. Right. Didn't seem to enjoy that that much. Come on, you ugly fucker. Oh, God. Didn't exactly play out as well as I was hoping. Ooh. <laughs> right in the chest. That's some kind of fake. Very interesting cinematic angle there. Right, let's see what these guys have dropped for us. Oh, he dropped a grenade. Very nice. Thank you. Well, eh, mm, grenades are kind of ass in this game. They're very powerful, but eh. She's got a knife in her back. Any more brain gel? Any more? Ooh. Don't see that in a baby's... Oh, hello. Maybe? Yes? <gasps> oh, dude. Super mag. Oh, we can actually hold it. Right. Uh, yeah, because the ammo... In the so we can have, like, one spare reload with this thing. Cool. Good to know. We're going to be babying that thing. Nothing. The item drop rate in this game is so bloody low, man. It's kind of crazy. Okay. Let's get moving. Ooh. That's nice. Go get shot full of that stuff. How many of those do we have? Four. I don't think there's a limit of how many of, the, of those you can hold. Which, for us, is really nice. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, that's convenient. Very convenient. You gotta be kidding. Ah, you're right. This place is filthy. <laughs> That's what you're concerned about? Seriously? Is his doing? No. It's somebody else. Come on, Sebastian. You're supposed to be the smart one. I don't think we've actually found any more keys, have we? Hello, nurse. Mutilated body found in sewer. The body of a man with his brain exposed and surgical scars found in Crimson City sewer. Dead for several months, reminiscent of Elk River serial killer. You do realize there would be no one to replace me. Um. Okay. 
Uh, Inspector Brown. Crimson City Police Inspector Arnold Brown claimed to be holding an important evidence in an unsolved case before he disappeared. Funny, that, don't you think? Yeah, I don't think we have any more keys to spend. Which is unfortunate. Oh no, we got one. Yay! It's exactly what we wanted as well. Brilliant. Thanks, game. Right, I suppose... It's probably time to save it. Let's very slowly open that door. Don't want to disturb the good nurse here. Um, right. Drop that shit down. And when we come back, guys, we're going to continue this, uh, this chapter. Actually, I like this chapter. It's fun. There's just something about being out. Because for the majority of this game, we've been in these tiny little enclosed spaces. And it's felt very claustrophobic. And this is really a, a breath of fresh air, being able to explore these somewhat large open streets. Um, you know, and it's nice and bright. So you don't have to sit there squinting at everything. Yeah, I like it. Anyway, guys, till next time.